Hey guys, welcome back to this episode of Modern Living TV. And as always, we give you a glimpse of this life that you aspire to, beautiful dream that sometimes in our hopes of trying to achieve that, we forget a lot of important things along the way, right? Yeah, sometimes things get so noisy. Oh my gosh. Things get so chaotic. So today we're gonna try to refocus our energies to the things that truly matter. Listen in on our conversation with a multi-hyphenate mother extraordinaire, Amanda Griffin Jacob, as she talks about self-care. I super need to hear about that and learn from that. You know, we really need all the help we can get when it comes to taking care of our kids. Next, we're going to take a look at the bigger picture, going beyond problems of ourselves and something that we all have to start tackling. It's the issue of single-use plastics. It's a big issue, and we're going to interview some people from WWF for their Ayoko ng Plastic campaign. So join in on our conversation from living spaces to living life beyond its confines. This is your ultimate guide to modern living. Her beautiful face has launched many brands and shows, and her sophisticated persona is a favorite on print, on air, and online. She's an international model, host, and entrepreneur, but these days she's fully dedicated on her most rewarding and challenging role yet, being a glamorous mama. Hi guys, today I am with someone who people might describe as the ultimate mom peg, okay? She is glamorous, she's a mom of four, she looks amazing, and she still works. So today, join me in welcoming Amanda Griffith Jacob. Hi. Hi Steph, thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm so happy to have you back. And thanks and for that <laughs> intro, oh my goodness. <laughs> mom bag for life. Ah, that's a lot to live up to. The original glamo mama. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so first, Tell us, what have you been up to lately? I know you just had a baby. Yeah, I another just, one. Another one. So I have my fourth baby, another baby boy. So I have three boys and a girl, and uh, he's five months old. Oh, so yeah. sorry. His name's Kyle, and he's the most sweet-natured mm -hmm. baby. So I'm really lucky. Oh, that's great. And how has that been in terms of you know just juggling everything? Have you taken a step back from work? I have. Um, it doesn't seem like it, but I I, I have because. Especially when he was first born. Yeah. Um, last year I was really dedicated all to him. And finding my footing again because as you can imagine, three to four, it's just... Yeah, it's a whole new logistics, Yeah, I don't right? have enough it's... arms, I don't have <laughs> enough of me to, you know, I'm driving everyone everywhere. Um, it's a lot. I have a nine-year-old, a six-year-old, a four-year-old, and a five-month-old. So, oh my gosh. Yeah. So how does that, you know, impact your life? Is it all about the kids or do you need time to kind of just, you know, detach yourself a little bit? Well, no, I, I mean, sometimes it feels like my life is all about the kids, like there's no room for anything else. But. Um, after I had my third baby, so when I had my first two, I was like, you know, always striving to be the perfect mom. Mm -hmm. And I neglected myself a lot because... And you even wrote a book about that, right? Yes. With Bianca Elizalde. Yes. They wrote a Project book, Mom. Project Mom, about how to be the perfect mom. It's an amazing <laughs> book, guys. If you don't have it yet, go pick it up, okay? It's a natural guide to the first year of motherhood. Yeah. When I wrote that book, Karen was two and I had just given birth to Callan. Mm -hmm. So I was a very new mom. Now that I have four kids, maybe I didn't know as much as I thought I did. So I wrote that chapter about uh, me time and all of that. And then I didn't really recognize or realize how hard that would be to integrate, particularly when they get older and I had more kids, you know. So in recent years, that's been my struggle is how do I find time for myself Without feeling guilty. Without feeling guilty. Oh my gosh, mom guilt is so real. It's real, yeah. but it is necessary. Yeah. So a lot of moms tell me, they're like, yeah, you know, I hear about self-care, but it's really a luxury that I can't take. And so this is the message that we're spreading, that actually self-care is essential. Okay. Because if you don't take care of yourself, then how are you going to take care of everything okay. else? And you have a breakdown. Yes, you'll have you'll have a nervous breakdown. Yeah, I I know, I know some moms who have locked themselves in like the Absolutely. bathroom or the closet and just like hiding from their children. I've done that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you have to take care of you to take care of others. Why do women feel this pressure? Um, you know, I think social media has a lot to do with it because you're seeing 
As you said, images of the perfect mom. I'm by no means the perfect mom. And you're seeing the perfect photo of kids being obedient and cute in the photos. You don't hear the soundtrack behind that photo no. where it's, it's like all 200, good on. 200 takes 200 before takes you get that picture. Bribery, like, yeah, it'll be there. Ah, sit yeah. down, you know, so you have to take that at face value, you know? I can guarantee you, no one is the perfect mom and no one's life is perfect. All, all my family photos, I'm like, Smile. Yeah. <laughs> As a celebrity mom, Amanda used her influence to help other women. She established an online community called Glamo Mamas, where women can safely discuss the joys and the struggles of marriage and motherhood without being judged. Glamo Mamas want to shatter the notion that self care is luxury. Instead, it's a necessity a mother should not deprive herself of. So that's what we're talking about is self care, and it needs to be. A part of their lives. It's not a luxury as many moms um, say they don't have time. No, you have to make time. Schedule it like a doctor's appointment, something that's really integral in your life. And when we talk about self-care, I also want to say it's not just about bubble baths or you know getting a massage or you know while those are definitely forms of self-care, a lot of it is perhaps detoxifying your life. For example, getting rid of that friend that may be bringing negativity to your life or things like that where you want to you or know even taking a new class or exactly joining a book club exactly you know it doesn't have to be as indulgent as most people when you when you talk about self-care they're like i don't have time to go and get a massage like i have to do other things that's where the mom guilt comes in no i can't do that so if that's the way you feel that's okay you can look for other ways Mm -hmm. to feed your inner self to so you can be healthy on the inside. Do you have some tips like, you know, for I think particularly new moms are affected by this. They're the ones who feel really guilty. I think after the second baby I was like, yeah. eh, you'll survive. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I, I gotta go do something. Yeah. I, I think you'll be fine. <laughs> you get the hang of it. For new moms, what I recommend is girlfriends. Okay. So girlfriends for me are a bomb for the soul. Mm -hmm. So you can have your girlfriend time when you do play dates. Have that time where you can sort of vent and exchange ideas and just get everything off your chest. And that is a form of self-care because you'll come out of there feeling better and you don't feel guilty about it because your kids are still there. Yeah. Um, another one which a lot of moms say is hard but I really believe in it is exercise. If you can't get out to do the exercise without the baby, bring the baby with you. You can certainly go and walk around your neighborhood with, with your stroller. stroller. Yeah, and at least you're, you know, you're getting up and you're clearing your mind. For some yoga, we're both yoga lovers. Yes. I mean, even at home, you can just, I guess, watch yoga. a video. Yes get on the mat for 15 minutes while the baby's sleeping. And I think eating properly also when you're a new mom, especially if you're nursing. Yes. Um, because I mean, this is something that happened to me. I was actually severely malnourished. Everything I ate, all the nourishment was going All the nutrients were going to your baby. To the baby, yes. and nothing was left for me. So you really do have to, you know, you can just see your doctor and yes. be at the prime of your health because mm -hmm. um, you have another person to think about. So what about one tip that's not necessarily related to self-care, but I'm sure a lot of moms there are interested. How do you keep harmony in the house? You know, like um, I different I don't. personalities, <laughs> different, you know, like ages. Actually, it's funny. The things that I do to keep harmony in the house are actually taking the kids apart from each other. So I do dates. Oh, that's nice. Individual yeah. dates. So that I can sort of, you know, catch up with one kid and, and really get to bond with him on a one-on-one -on -one level. Mm -hmm. Because when you have a lot of kids, they're all coming at you and they're all, you know, everyone Basically, wants a piece of you. management. Yes. <laughs> and let's not forget the husband. Yeah. <laughs> they, they're always forgotten, right? Yes. Oh my God. It's hard. <laughs> Date nights, Date obviously. Nights. Yeah. The evenings are for the husband, so. Um, that's something I'm working on too because I'm so tired at the end of the day yes. after a full day. They get our day. grumpy side though. Yes. Like, um, <laughs> so yeah, you have to remember in your mind, like I need to also dedicate some time to nourishing that relationship. Yes. Well, thanks so much for your time. Thank and you. And I'm looking forward to hearing more about this um, self-care. Are you gonna be doing these workshops regularly? Yes, yeah. yeah, so you can go to um, 
our Glamour Mamas group on Facebook or the, the page or amandagriffinjacob.com. We're doing a lot of events for moms just to support and inspire yes. and exchange ideas. And Well, you've been doing that really well with Glamour Mamas. Thank and you. Yeah, the book, you guys must get the book. Um, Project. Yeah, thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Steph. We're asking people to bring their own containers, to not bring any straws, not any plastic bags. Try to keep the entire picnic single-use plastic, plastic free. free. Including the vendors, they're not allowed to also use single-use yes. plastics, yes. right?